Hello, what's up YouTube? Ron is with another tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you guys how I did the color grading for this specific image in Capture One and in Photoshop. So I've been getting so many questions about doing a tutorial about this very series of images that I posted on my Instagram account at Ronix Photography. So if at all you feel like you want to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram to end. I'm also on TikTok and the link is going to be in the description of this very video so that you can link up and we get personal. So I may not be able to get to your queries first time on maybe Instagram because I usually get so many messages. But if I told you follow me on, on TikTok, we can link up and chat right there. So let's get into today's tutorial. And so this is the image we have and I first of all did the basic adjustments or the adjustments I do on my raw images or to process the raw file in Capture One. So this is Capture One and for those that don't know Capture One, it's, it's like a raw processing software whereby you can process and color grade your raw files or any kind of images anyway. So if at all your Capture One interface is not looking the way it is or the way mine is, you can simply come to window workspace and you come to migration and you have everything on the right hand side so usually in capture one or what i did and guys don't forget to hit the like button on this specific video so what i did in capture one or what i usually do i come to the high dynamic range first and i turn it down then i do the same for the white because i feel like uh, my whites were a little bit blown out then I turn the blacks down to add some tiny bit of contrast into the image then I come to the contrast slider and simply push it up just like that so after doing that I add some clarity into the image so I'm just going to put around 5 is fine and after that I want to get rid of uh, the redness especially in her skin tone so i'm going to come down below here where it says base characteristics then i'm just going to come to the isis profile and change it to a pro standard right here and that only eliminates the magentas and it's going to get me that kind of warm skin tone so after doing the basic adjustments on the image i'm just going to come back to where it says levels to add a more or more contrast into the image so I'm just going to pu push in the blacks just like that and as I'm doing this you can notice that it adds contrast and makes the image more contrasty then I also come to these whites and I just push them in a little bit but as I was adding contrast into the image you can notice that it introduced more shadows so I'm just going to come to the shadow slider and simply push it up so I think 12 is fine so the next thing is going to be color grading so basically we are just trying to correct the image that is the first thing you have to do before doing the color grading on all your images I'm just going to come to where it says layers and I right click on this plus icon and I come to new field adjustment layer so it is going to create for me a layer on which I'm going to be doing the color grading on this image in capture one so remember I'm doing color grading in capture one and in photoshop so i'm just going to double click on the adjustment layer word and i'm just going to name this color grid so like in photoshop you can play around with the opacity and we have layers also in capture one so i'm just going to come all the way down to where it says color editor and under color editor we have basic advanced and skin tone so i'm just going to be using these two options color editor and color balance to color grade this image in capture one so what i do or what i usually do is evening out or having a unique or uniform skin tone so you can see usually we have some kind of red somewhere then we have some little bit of magentas and some oranges and yellow so I just want to have a uniform skin tone for this model so I'm just going to come where it says skin tone 
and when I click this you can see that we have this circle right here and we have the eyedropper tool so in capture it is like a color picker tool I'm just going to click on it and when you click on it it turns into it turns into orange so I'm just going to come and pick a sample from the model skin so I'm just going to look for that area where I want the rest of the skin to look like so I'm just going to sample from that area and when I click on that area you can see that it has created the color range of that area so in this area we have some reds yellows magentas and oranges so after sampling it means that I want the rest of the skin to be like this area I've sampled so I'm just going to use command minus to zoom out and down here we have where it says view selected color range so when I click on it you can see that I have sampled the skin only and some part of the oranges in the leaves right here so when you turn this off you can see that we have the image looking like it was meant to be so in order to unify or create uniform skin tones in capture one it, we have the option which says uniformity and when you left click right on this slider and you start moving it you are going to start looking at the image or noticing that the image is going to uh, start having uniform skin tone so for this case I'm just going to leave it at 64 then I'm just going to add some tiny bit of saturation to around just going to leave it to around 28 so you can see that the skin tone is really getting to look better but in the color grading process or this specific step you can notice that my whites are still a little bit blown out so we are going to be fixing that later on since we have the color grading on a separate layer then the next thing I'm going to do or what I did when I was color grading this image I simply came down where it says color balance and under color balance what I did let me zoom in so that you can see everything as I'm doing it in real time so under color balance I only targeted the highlights so we have where it says master three-way shadow mid-tone and highlights so for this case I only wanted to target the highlights in the image so you can work with every or the three options which are mid-tone shadow and highlight or you can click on these to work on them individually so for this case I only want to add some kind of greens into the highlights of the image so just going to click in this circle and when you move this around the image you can notice that it really adds that targeted color so the more you move it towards the edge the more saturated that color is going to be and here you just be reducing on the intensity of that color so what I did for this image I pushed it towards the green area and what I did next I just pushed it down after that just like that you can see what I did basically so I best I wa just wanted to add greens into uh, the highlights of this image so I'm just going to increase on the intensity slightly and you can see that the skin tone is really getting to look better and richer so after doing all this I simply came back up and I came back to the basic adjustments so I turned down the highlights even more and I did the same for my whites just like that then I added contrast into my color grading so that the image can really pop even more and I just pushed up my shadows just a little bit to around 4 so let's see the before and after for the color grading of this image so far so when I turn on the before and after slider let me just zoom in slightly you can see this is where we are right now this is the before and after before after and when you feel like the color grading effect is too much you can come and simply reduce on the opacity of the color grading so for this case I'm just going to leave it up to around 85 and that looks good so the next thing I did was coming back to uh, this 
color editor option and I came to the basic slider and under basic slider I came to the greens and I simply intensified or played around with the hues of the greens and I did the same for the blues so I just wanted the blues to have that kind of more green hue added to it so I left it right there then I took the image into Photoshop to do the last bit of color grading so I came to image edit with and Photoshop and I left it in TIFF format and 16 bit because I wanted a wider range of colors and details to work with on this image then I left everything in option compressed and everything in the default and I came to edit variants and the image was taken into Photoshop for the last and final color grading so let's just wait for this to load into Photoshop and right now the image is loading into Photoshop so this is the image and what I did in Photoshop itself was simply coming to my selective color and usually I do this after doing the retouching or the skin retouching on the image so after retouching and I feel like I love the image I came to selective color and I intensified the blacks to around 4 then I also added some kind of blues into my black so you can see that this made the image even pop a little bit more so I, I just left that at 5 then I came to where it says black and white so I created a black and white adjustment layer and I changed the blend mode to multiply and you can see how this made the image really dark so I had to come to the opacity slider and simply reduce on the opacity of uh, that blend mode so I just pushed it down and I think uh, this is where we are right now so I felt like I had so much yellow into the image so I came back to selective color and I came to the reds and I simply added some cyan's into the image to around negative 5 and this is all I did when I was color grading this image and if at all you have loved this tutorial don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching I'll see you in yet more tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing keep color grading and keep creating